Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, quadrilateral ABCD in which the lengths are for AB is 3 units and for BC is 6 units and for AD is 5 units and CD is uh, the next segment which is X unknown and we have this uh, two angles at C and D to be congruent given and the angle at B is 90 degrees and we are required to find the length of this segment CD or X. Okay, so first thing that we may do is uh, since the two angles here are congruent, the angle at C and D, so if we draw a line upwards that will continue this segment BC, and from this segment A that will continue this segment D, I mean yeah, segment AD via this point A. So we will be able to form a an isosceles triangle in which this uh, let's label this point as uh, E such that uh, EC this segment EC and segment ED are congruent since these are uh, they have these congruent angles at C and D. Okay, so next is uh, we are going to let the side length to be side length of this isosceles triangle to be a uh, certain uh, variable. Let's say this is y. So it is y. So uh, if this is y on the side EC and then this on this side EC then on the side the uh, ED this is also Y so because we have an isosceles uh, triangle we form the isosceles triangle and if the side is Y then this length AE we need to subtract this 5 so this length will be Y minus 5 and for this uh, EB, this is Y minus 6. Okay. And notice on this uh, uh, angle at B since we just continue this. So uh, uh, e, uh, at EBC, this is 180. So if this is at angle B is 90, then this angle should be also 90 degrees. Okay, so next is we focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABE. So the hypotenuse being the segment AE. So this is, uh, and the two legs is 3 and this Y minus 6. So 3 square plus Y minus 6 square is equal to Y minus 5 square so 9 plus y square and minus 12y plus 36 is equal to y square minus 10y plus 25 okay so we can cancel this y square and y square on the left and right so we are left with 9 plus 36 then we put this uh, 25 to the left hand side so minus 25 and it is equal to uh, this 12y becomes positive to the right so 12y then we copy this negative 10y so we are uh, it will give us a 20 for the left hand side so 20 and 2y for this uh, right hand side so if we divide both sides by 2 so this gives us the value of y to be 10 units
Okay, so the side length of this uh, segment ED is 10. And same with this uh, CE, 10 also. Because it is an isosceles triangle. So we can actually uh, use uh, uh, cosine law to find this value of x. But before that, we need to find this uh, ratio. This is actually a cosine of, uh, I mean the ratio of cosine theta. So for cosine theta, okay, uh, it is equal to adjacent over this hypotenuse. And cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent which is y minus 6, so y minus 6 over the hypotenuse to be y minus 5. So cosine of theta is equal to y is 10 minus 6 over 10 minus 5. So it gives us a 4 over 5. This gives us 4 and this gives us 5. So cosine of theta is equal to 4 over 5. Okay, so for the side length x, uh, using cosine law, it is equal to the square root of uh, the two sides, 10 and 10. So 10 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10 times the cosine of the cosine of theta or the cosine of the angle included between the two sides, the 10 and 10. So cosine of theta is 4 fifths. So this gives us, uh, this is 10 over 5, 2. So this gives us uh, 2 times 10 is 20 times 2, 40 times 4 gives us 160. So minus 160 so it's equal to 100 plus 100 minus 160 so this gives us x is equal to the square root of 40 and by factoring 40 we have 4 times 10 we uh, isolated the 4 because it is a perfect square. So since this 4 is a perfect square, we can get it outside of the radical sign. So this gives us a x is equal to 2 square root of 10 units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.